I've had these type of shoes, um, undefeated. I had like these gray ones I wore for my photo shoot, and then these white pair um, I sometimes wear. I don't wear them. The gray ones are different than those, though. They're the same as these. The white it's, undefeated. It's white. Mm -hmm. The white undefeated Pro Shows. These are the Kobe 1 Pro Shows 81 points. But I didn't know getting this, they had a star in the middle of the shoe, which is like a really cool detail. But these are the 81 point yeah. Kobe's. And then they're my favorite color, purple. So, but this is like, this is probably not gonna be my only pair for season. I'm probably gonna get another pair. Hopefully, are my purple high tops. Hopefully, True. you know, right, Marco? Right. right. Hopefully, you know, maybe I get a a Thanksgiving no a Thanksgiving basket. A Thanksgiving basket, which would be pretty cool. 
Um, right now, it's November, and it's, I don't get this weather in California. Like, if you come here, it's so weird. It's, like, hot, then it's cold one week, and then it's hot again. Like, right now, it's hot. Um, same as always, I mean, what we've been doing for these past two months is, like, staying ready. We really don't get ready. We really don't prepare. We've been, like, we've been prepared. We do the same thing, what we do to get ready for something, which is always stay prepared. Well, comments do you always see on TikTok? Literally, why do I wear the mask? Why is she wearing a mask? Literally. I've already told the story. Um, I wear the mask because I got hit during the summer here and I had to get stitches and they said just wear the mask for like right now until it heals. So I wore it until it healed and then I just started getting like hit again here and it would throb and as well like I played a game without the mask for the first time and I got like cut on my under eye. And if, like, the girl elbowed me even more when she, like, so she elbowed my under eye, on uh, my eye, and there was, like, cuts shown. And if she elbowed it, like, even more, I would have got, like, the same thing I got here for stitches. So, um, yeah, that's why I wear the mask, to protect my face. Um, that's why I wear the mask. So, for a lot of people asking. Put these back in the box. Yeah. 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 Really, you can't have any other than me in the car. I get in the car finally. There's so much stuff in the back. Like my first interview before season started, like I don't know what to expect, and literally I did not know what to expect going into season, especially. Um, just like dealing with different things, you know. This year I dealt with injuries, um, sickness, not just me, but as well my teammates. Um, I felt like this year my team and I went through some adversity, um, especially like there were certain games that we didn't play all together because some of us were out due to injuries and sickness. It was definitely unordinary freshman year, I'm going to say. For a freshman, definitely, yeah. Going through injuries, going through sickness, especially like the injuries I went through, like you don't hear that until like maybe in the pros, not even the pros, maybe we'll go like through the injuries, I just went back to back. Like I went from having stitches to my face to having to wear a mask, then having my first ever high school game, dislocating my finger and putting it back in and then continuing playing and ending with 28 points. Next, um, just like overall, like and then getting sick. I felt like God challenged me and said like, let's see how, like, how tough you really are. And I felt like I was challenged like this year with a lot of bumps and it was just to see if I could overcome those bumps. And no, um, coming in here, I definitely wanted to probably do more, you know. I have my expectations really high. You know, I know other people do as, 
have ex like high expectations of me when they come and see me. But for a freshman, like going, averaging that much points or like scoring that much and like doing things that ordinary freshmen didn't do or like, especially I felt like I was dealt with different defenses and um, thrown at me and I just had to get used to it um, every game. And I felt like that got me better this season for just to prepare for anything else, like for Mexico or for the summer when I play travel ball. For a freshman, especially um, this year, I wanted to get a Foothill League title. I wanted to get Foothill League MVP. But, you know, this season, the goals were not met. And, um, you know, but as I had my goals really high, I still had a pretty good freshman year. And because I had them really high, I still had, like, I still met some standards. I do feel like, I feel like every day I have to prove myself to anybody when I walk in the gym. I felt like there's still, I mean, there's always gonna be people like doubting you and everything. They're like, oh, but could you do this? Oh, but she did that last game, could she do it this game? So I feel like there's always doubters in every game, like no matter what or like what kind of player you are or what they see you as. You always have to bring your A game every time.
You either have to train differently, especially like me, I'm either hitting the track, hitting the weight room, you know, trying to get stronger, trying to create like a difference from like other players on the court. Um, like changing my workouts, I feel like my workouts are like, they get better and different every time. They get more challenging. I felt like the more they get challenging, I feel like I'm really, really working on my game. And I feel like that's gonna really like elevate my game, especially just doing everything that like most like kids are not doing right now. other people wanting to get inspired or other people wanting to see how hard or what it takes to do certain things or to get certain goals. And this is, you know, what it takes. And I felt like a lot of people, you know, they've missed the YouTube channel because like I inspire people or you're the reason why I play basketball or, multi or multiple reasons. Um, I do this for, you know, to entertain but as well to inspire. inspire the next girl to, or boy, to pick up a basketball. That's why I do it.
You know, as a freshman, I definitely wanted a lot, and I didn't achieve them. Like, getting MVP, winning a fifth world title, or having 30, 40 points a game. But because I aimed so high, people are like, oh, she still had a good freshman year, though. And it's just to prove that, like, never aim lower when you fail. Always, like, always aim even higher. And it's okay to fail. Especially, you know, there's times a lot with me, I may not have the, like, the greatest games or the greatest practices or the greatest workouts, but that doesn't mean that you should keep giving up on yourself. That just means that it's gonna come eventually. The work and all of that is gonna come, but you just gotta keep going. And I felt like, I just want you guys to know, especially to not give up on yourself, no matter what. It may be so hard right now, but eventually it's gonna get easier. It was, we went into overtime, and I think it was two, two minutes left, and Saugus had the ball, I was on defense, and it was very loud in there. It was very, it was, it was definitely very loud um, in the gym. So as I was on defense, um, I didn't, there was multiple times I got hit with the screen, and they did not call it, and it was definitely a legal screen. Um, I'm a really tough player, so no matter what, no matter if I get hit or like thrown to the ground, I will always get back up. And for me not to be able to get back up, I knew something like was really, really wrong with me. As I'm trying to like catch my breath, I can't. And slowly like I start like, not like I start getting knocked out. And um, my heart, my heart feels like, it felt like it stopped for like a second. Like I couldn't breathe at all. I couldn't move like, I couldn't even call for like anybody like for help, especially like my brother. You know, I always like talk to him about any, anything or like, you know, he's my first person I go to. I woke up um, eventually, and I didn't know for like, I'm gonna say like a couple seconds, I didn't know what happened. I didn't know where I was or 
what just happened. All I can remember is just, I knocked out, that's all. And then eventually I just started to remember everything and everything came back to me. But for, I'm gonna say a week and a half, I was definitely traumatized to get back on the court. Um, I feel like anybody would be traumatized from that incident, you know, like just getting hit like that and just not being able to breathe or being able to like, it was like the worst feeling in the world. And it was during something I love to do. So that was definitely tough on me. Um, but eventually, you know, I really wanted to get back out there. It was definitely scary. A lot of people definitely thought I was done, like for the season. They thought, you know, you know, she's not gonna play any more games. But um, I feel like a lot of people I proved wrong and just went back out there like that. Or do you say you're, you're dumb? Dumb. dumb. With us. You're done. You're dumb. You're done. Uh, you said that they. Stay! Yeah.
is talking and bringing it to the offensive side. But um, right now we're like playing really good D. We're making great passes. Um, now Josie just got to knock these free throws down, which we know she could do easy. So. But you have to want to take the ball. You don't want to take it. You got to want to take it. Okay? You have to want to take it. Look at What else is this? more games and the seniors are out. Class of 2024, we'll see you later, y'all. What? Oh, no, 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 no. We are locked out of the locker room. So, so Bronier is on his way. Um, oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Bronier! Stop. Bronier, you want to say what's up to the mic? Hey, watch out, watch out, watch out. Hey, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. You want to say hi to the mic? Say something to the mic. Hi to who? The mic, the mic. Hi, Mike. <laughs> it's on mic. Hi, Mike. Boy, Bring them out, it's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Bring them out, 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 bring so do as you must for real. play hard, um, give it your all. You only have like a little bit of games left until playoffs, so just bring it all. Yes, how did you feel like uh, just once the game, the game kicked off? Um, once the game started, I felt good. You know, um, I was really excited to play, so like all my jitters started to leave. Um, and like once I hit my first shot, I was like, okay, I want more. And then like once I hit my second three, like I wanted even more. So. It just felt like good to be back, like especially like hitting that first shot. Um, it felt really good. Uh, today is also obviously a special day because of Kobe. Yes. Uh, did, did, did it mean something 
Definitely. Um, I didn't even notice that the day I came back from my energy, like my injury, it was the day that he passed away. And I felt like I dedicated him to this game. Um, I felt like he would tell me right now, I'll go back out there. You know, he said, he would probably say like, don't be afraid. You know, you love the game that much. Why would you be afraid? You know, like the game loves you back. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh man! Oh man! Hell yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Nice, sweet.
steps you try to produce as much power as you can in two steps so you're here and then whenever you're ready you're down here left right boom big throw feet feet are gonna be split ready left right pass left right Back. stay low lean forwards go left right push Good, big throw. Two. Run, 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 run. Short. And go two more in. Ready. Good, big throw. One. Good, That's big so throw. Come on, come on, keep working. Good, sprint. Get up, get up. Nice. Just chill. Anybody else there? Freshman year. Like, if you ask any freshman, did they get 
their first high school game or like overall first game in high school get their finger dislocated and have 28 points and went back in. Um, something like that or just get stitches and then um, just like something all of the ordinary like stuff happened this year. Just like, I mean, I think it was a tough one as well because of like all of our illnesses this week, I mean this year. Um, illnesses, injuries, I felt like we dealt with a lot of adversity during this year. And, um, you know, I'm just proud of myself and my team that we just like pushed through it um, until the end. And I felt like that made us tougher, especially this year. I feel like this year was based off of how strong are you. I feel like um, every year I'm challenged with something, something new to like see like how strong I really am, how strong like I can take a challenge and can I overcome it. And um, I just like, moved away while you're doing it. I feel like that's. Um, that's the stuff that I've went through this year, especially just overall, this like whole season. Okay, now, it's finish season, just got done with the basketball workout, now I'm going to do my lifting workout. Um, what are we doing today? Arms are... We're going to do chest. Seen you in like a cutoff shirt in a while, actually. It's been a really fat minute. Do we chest? Thumbs. Good. 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 Before you say anything, you gotta know that you're on my YouTube channel right now. Oh. <laughs> you said what? But I definitely can't say what I was about to say. Wait, say hi. Oh, hi. This is Jennifer, and I don't know what Jenica is doing. She's right here. I'm here. Hold on. <laughs> Anyways, I'll call you when I get home. And you can tell me what you need to tell me. Sounds good. Okie dokie. Oh. <laughs> it's very cold outside. Tomorrow's probably going to be like... I think tomorrow's going to rain too. Today it rained. Until like the end of school. But tomorrow I have a workout to go to. Then I have Spanish, and then biology, and then that's when my, my night starts. My, like, my day really starts after school. I start doing my homework. Um, today I try to meet my friends like while doing my homework, but usually like I'll just do my homework and I'll try to get a nap in. Probably like a 10 minute nap. Gotta get your naps in best you can. Um, Ten minute nap. Ten minute nap, and then start getting ready. 
um, I might eat a little something, like doing my homework, and then we'll head here, and then we'll work out, and then it's either we run the track, or we weight lift. We did it on the track today, well, we ran the track like, well, yesterday. I can show you a video of me and Marco. We went on how long of a run, Marco? Look, like, it was an hour run, I think. Hour. It was going to be a 40 minute run, but we originally wanted to go to Chipotle to get a Chipotle. We wanted to go to Chipotle just to run there and then go all the way back to our car. Um, Marco did not make it all the way up. Bro, I was going to die. Uh huh. How did you think I was going to How did you think I was going to You're more in shape than I am. Yeah. I stopped because I was like, you know what, I'm really tired. Marco, Marco calls me and says, why did you stop? I'm like, um, you said like whatever I wanted to stop, I could just stop. He's like, keep going, and then come back. He like, just stopped and started walking. <laughs> And then this is just like, okay, I can get back. I'm like legit just turning back. That shit was steep. So and I'm like, it's all uphill. Like, yeah. And I was like, fuck, I'm not gonna make it, bro. I thought it was a red flag, and I swear to God, I was gonna grab it and hold it. <laughs> just said, yeah, I'm good. Did you have the lights? Yeah. Ooh, it's so sticky.
thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed all the clips and especially me talking about my goals throughout this whole season and stuff that I went through this season. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys soon and maybe in Mexico, who knows?